hello students continuing with our essay on superstitions so far we have <coughs> read that gardener is uh, saying that we all have some hidden belief in all these superstitions he said even if we deny it publicly or even we deny it to ourselves but we do observe them and as a proof of this he says that we feel happier if the house which we are searching turns out to be numbered not as 13 he says that the uh, landlord gives it a very esteem kind of quality to uh, tell about his house that it is not number 13 and even some of the hospitals boast it as a curative power of their hospital that they don't have a bad number 13 so he uh, says that uh, in the case of the hospitals we might uh, give it a concession as of a general belief that uh, curation of a patient depends on his mental state as well as his physical state now he says uh, just validating the same idea that florence nightingale's almost pa- passionate advocacy of flowers in the sick bedroom was based on the necessity of the creation of a certain state of mind in the patient there are few more curious revelations in the moving in that moving record by am do hamel of medical experiences during the war than the case of the man who died of a pimple on his nose he had been hideously mutilated in battle and was brought into hospital as sheer wreck but he was slowly passed up and seemed to have been saved when a pimple appeared on his nose it was nothing in itself but it was enough to produce a mental state that checked the flickering return of life it assumed a fantastic importance in the mind of the patient who having survived the heavy blows of fate died of something less than a pin prick it is not difficult to understand that so fragile a hold of life might yield to the st- sudden discovery that you were lying in number 13 bed now uh, just to validate that idea that as a general uh, belief we might give this concession uh, if to the hospitals if they don't have a 30 number bed how he says that florence nightingale's almost passionate advocacy of flowers in the sick bedroom was based on the necessity of the creation of a certain state of mind in the patient as gardiner has talked about him in his uh, previous paragraph that uh, discovery from a disease depends on the mental state as well as the physical state of the patient so uh, here he uh, validates that idea that florence nightingale the famous nurse of the world war she uh, has passionately advocated this idea of putting uh, flowers in the sick room why so that the patient might feel happy and his recovery should be accelerated so he says that uh, that idea behind this or uh, why there is no 13 bedroom can be validated through the idea of florence nightingale that she advocated this thing very strongly very passionately that there should be flowers in the sick bedroom so as to uh, make a certain kind of mental state of the patient certain means uh, a very positive kind of mental state of the patient there are few more curious revelations in that moving record by am do hamel of medical experiences during the war than the case of the man who died of a pimple on his nose he said though there are many uh, incidents many things uh, which were narrated by am do hamel in his medical experiences of the world war then but the most shocking or the uh, most amazing of them all is the example of the man who died of a pimple on his nose there was the 
a case of a certain man, a certain soldier who died just because of a pimple on his nose. How? He narrates that he had been hideously mutilated in battle and was brought into hospital a seer wreck. He says that that patient, that soldier, he was very hideously in a very uh, bad manner. Na, bhoti, बद्दे तरीके से सीरियसली मींस बहुत ही जिसको आप देख नहीं सकते जिसको देख के हमें लगता है ना पेशेंट जो बिल्कुल बुरी तरह से घायल है उसको देख के एक अजीब सी हमारे मन में बेचैनी सी होती है एक घृणास्पद तरीके से उसको जो है म्यूटिलेटेड ही वाज मतलब अंग भंग थे उसके बुरी तरह से जख्मी वो था इन दैट वार एंड वाज ब्रॉट इनटू द हॉस्पिटल एज अ रेक मींस टोटली ब्रोकन डाउन ही वाज बट ही वाज स्लोली पैचड अप एंड सीम टू हैव बीन सेव्ड as the incident is that uh, slowly and slowly he recovered and when it seemed that he has totally recovered he has passed up with his uh, wounds and he was recovering very in a very good manner then suddenly a pimple appeared on his nose and then what happened that suddenly there was a pimple on his nose so it's not a disease though it's don't have anything to do with the war it don't have anything to do with the uh, hospital or anything but what happened it was nothing in itself but it was enough to produce a mental state that checked the flickering return of life it says though it was nothing it was uh, uh, nothing uh, serious as far as a disease as far as a uh, physical state is concerned but still what happened that it has checked it has barred it has stopped that acceleration of recovery which that man was having and it has checked that return of life which was flickering in his body it assumed a fantastic importance in the mind of the patient who having survived the heavy blows of fate died of something less than a pin prick and he says that all of a sudden just because of that pimple on the nose that man died a person who had survived the heavy blows of the war has died just because of that small pimple which was nothing than a simple pin prick jaise apan pin se apne nahi kar lete apni skin pe agar apan pin chuboenge to kya hoga ek very small drop blood ki jo hai wo bhar aayegi so something like that was that pimple पिंपल होती हैं जो छोटी छोटी फुंसियाँ होती हैं हमारे मुंह पे होती रहती हैं दैट इज द पिंपल सो ही सेज दैट वो जो पिंपल था उसने उस पेशेंट के दिमाग में उस शोल्जर के दिमाग में एक ऐसा इंप्रेशन बनाया कि दैट पर्सन हु हैज सर्वाइव्ड द वार द ब्लोज ऑफ वार हैज डाइड जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट पिंपल it is not difficult to understand that so fragile a hold of life might yield to the sudden discovery that you were lying in number 13 bag and he said similar thing might happen to any patient who discovers this thing that he is lying on the bed number 13 and that's why the hospitals doesn't have a bed number 13 so that any patient might not lose hope on this discovery that he is lying on bed number 13 i am not sure that i could go into the witness box and swear that i am wholly immune to these idle superstitions <coughs> myself it is true that of all the buses in london that number 13 chances to be the one that i constantly use and i do not remember until now ever to have associated the superstition with it and certainly i have never had anything but the most civil treatment from it it is as well behaved as a bus and as free from unpleasant associations as any on the road i would not change its number if i had the power to do so but there are other circumstances of which i should find it less easy to clear myself of suspicion under cross examination i never see a ladder against a house side without feeling that it is advisable to walk round it rather than under it i say to myself that uh, it is advisable uh, myself that this is not 
homage to a foolish superstition that but a duty to my family one must think of one's family the fellow at the top of the ladder may drop anything he may even drop himself he may have had too much to drink he may be a victim of epileptic fits and epileptic fits as everyone knows come on at the most unreasonable times and places it is a mere measure of ordinary safety to walk around the ladder so now he uh, again uh, keeps talking about that number 13 superstition he says that i am not sure that i could go into the witness box and swear that i am wholly immune to these idol superstitions myself he says though if uh, someone uh, brings me in front of the court and he asks asks me to swear this thing to uh, god or to any that legal system jaise apne desh mein hota na ki aap gita pe hath rakh ke kahenge ki aap jo kahenge sach kahenge so in the same manner he says i cannot go in a witness box on the court and swear this thing that i am totally immune means i don't believe in these superstitions <coughs> it is true that of all the buses in london that number that number 13 chances to be the one that i constantly use he says uh, he tells it true uh, things related with himself he says that of all the buses which are there in london which move to and fro in london the which i constantly use the one which i constantly use is chance to be number 13 and i do not remember until now ever to have associated the superstition with it and he says so far i have never attached any doubt any this uh, blind belief with this bus so far because i haven't found anything bad with it and certainly i have never had anything but the most civil treatment from it and he says certainly this is also a, a real uh, thing to tell that i have never had any bad uh, behavior from this bus number 13 i have always been uh, behaved nicely by this bus and as free from unpleasant associations as any on the road and i have also the very same pleasant kind of memories associated with this 13 number bus as i had with any other bus on the road which uh, goes on the road i would not change its number if i had the power to do so and he said if uh, we talk about this number 13 and uh, if we uh, talk about this specific bus so he says even if i had the power to change its number i would not do so why because i don't have any uh, bad memories associated with that bus so i won't change it for anything but there are other circumstances of which i should find it less easy to clear myself of suspicion but he says there are still other things there are some other issues also in which i must say this thing that i can't clear myself of the doubts of the um, superstitions for example he says i never see a ladder against a house side without feeling that it is advisable to walk around it rather than under it he says every time whenever i see a ladder uh, standing against any house then i would always uh, believe or i would always do it that i would not go under it i would go around it and ye ek general aapne bhi suna hoga Uh, कि एक बिलीफ होता है uh, ऐसा हमारे यहाँ कहा जाता है कि कभी भी अगर सीढ़ी घर के बाहर ऐसा लगी हो तो उसके नीचे से नहीं जाना चाहिए उसके बाहर से जाना चाहिए घूम के इट इज़ ए सुपरस्टिशन है ना ये एक अंधविश्वास है बट नाउ ही रिलेट्स इट क्योंकि वो खुद ऐसा करता है ना तो वो उसको लॉजिकल रिलेट uh, कर रहा है वो क्या कर रहा है I say to myself दैट दिस इज नॉट होमेज टू ए फुलिस सुपरस्टिशन बट ए ड्यूटी टू माई सेल्फ इस आई डोंट walk around that ladder just because of any superstition but why i do this because i think of my family i took care of my family and uh, that's why i uh, 
avoid going under it. Why? Because one must think of one's family. The fellow at the top of the ladder may drop anything. Why I think of my family and why I go around it? Because that person who is at the top of the ladder, he might drop anything at any time, and that might fall fall on my head. He may even drop himself. Or is it bad? What can happen? That he may even drop himself. He can also fall on himself. He may be a victim of epileptic fits, and epileptic fits, as everyone knows, come on at the most unreasonable times and places. वो कहता है कि he might have drunk a lot of wine, and out of that uh, effect of that wine, that intoxicating effect of that wine, he might have fall down, or he might have epileptic fits. है ना उसको जैसे मिर्गी के ऐसे कोई दौरे आते हों, and epileptic fits, as you know. दे कम एट द मोस्ट रोंग एंड टाइम एंड प्लेस और वो करा है जैसे कि एपिलेप्टिक फिट्स के बारे में हम सब जानते हैं कि वो हमेशा ही बहुत ही गलत समय और बहुत ही गलत अवसर पर आते हैं जगह पर आते हैं इट इज ए मियर मेजर ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी सेफ्टी टू वॉक अराउंड द लेटर सो इट इज दैट वाई आई वॉक अराउंड द लेटर इज ए मियर मेजर ऑफ सेफ्टी फॉर माई सेल्फ No man is justified in inviting danger in order to flaunt his superiority to an idol. Fancy, and he says, uh, I think that no man should risk his own life just to prove a superstition wrong. Moreover, probably that fancy has its roots in the common sense fact that a man on a ladder does occasionally drop things, and he says uh, it might also happen that this this belief that. Uh, Yeah, we should not go under a uh, ladder. We should uh, go around it. Uh, he said that it might have also related with this fact that the person on the ladder might drop anything at any time. No doubt, many of our superstitions have these commonplace and sensible origins. So he said, I don't have any doubt about this thing that uh, some of these superstitions of ours. they are based on they are grounded on some of such sensible belief sensible uh, happenings i imagine for example that the jewish objection of pork as unclean on religious grounds is only due to the fact that in eastern climates it is unclean on physical grounds he says दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल है ना वो कह रहे हैं ना कि जनरली ये जो अंधविश्वास हैं ये किसी न किसी रीजन पे भी आधारित हो सकते हैं जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये कह रहे हैं दैट द जूविश ऑब्जेक्शन टू पोर्क एज अनकलीन ऑन रिलीजियस ग्राउंड जो जूविश पीपल हैं जू जो हैं यहूदी जो हैं दे कंसिडर पोर्क शुअर का जो मास होता है उसे एज अनकलीन वो उसे अनकलीन मानते हैं अशुद्ध मानते हैं ऑन रिलीजियस ग्राउंड्स so he says that that belief that religious belief of the jews might be based on the eastern uh, climates where it is considered unclean on physical grounds na jahan jo physical ground pe sharirik jo samasyaen face karni padti hain logon ko unke base pe isko unclean mana jata hai kahan eastern countries mein purvi deshon mein aur wo keh raha hai isliye ho sakta hai कि जो यहूदी विश्वास जो है कि वो पोर्क को अनक्लीन मानते हैं वो इस बात पे भी आधारित हो सकता है कि ईस्टर्न कंट्रीज में पोर्क जो है वो एज इट्स फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज हार्मफुल माना जाता है ओके दैट्स इट थैंक यू